Hello, Mario's Engineering Survey Blog, Session 2, 3rd of August 2018. Hello, hello, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, finally, we get out in the field and get a little bit of work done. So the first week, not so uh, flash uh, at predicting the weather, um, it looked just terrible this morning. Um, it was solid rain, but it cleared up, and we got outside, and as it turned out, had a great day in the field doing and achieving the getting the 10 stake challenge done and the uh, two-peg test for the digital level. So it was, uh, yeah, I, I, quite an enjoyable uh, sort of day and a uh, couple of little bits of fun along the way. So... Um, Let's uh, just have a look at the video that I did um, with my phone uh, as we were as we were going along. So, um, well, here we are at the start of the day, and the teams have got the ten stakes out there in a nice uh, line, approximately five meters apart, all ready to get underway with the ten stake challenge. In stake challenge, we have the stakes all set out in the lower row, approximately, well, exactly five metres apart, one would hope. And now we've got the various uh, levels set up here. And we're just uh, measuring to the tops of the stakes to uh, determine the height of the stakes. The first height we're probably use, going to use an assumed value of 100 as they move through. Um, so this will be a back site to the first staff there, first stake in each team. And now we're moving on to a intermediate. So there will be eight intermediates and then the last stake will be a foresight. We'll then move the instrument and come back the other way. Second team moving on to their intermediate. It was pouring rain this morning but uh, now oh, the weather's overcast but reasonably reasonably good I think as we look down this line of stakes here they look uh, fairly straight and over to these guys here as they're moving through various intermediate shots as we pull right back here and over at the instrument um, got guys uh, working away there uh, doing the intermediate sightings and what have you. Using optical levels, sometimes known as a dumpy level. Um, there. And uh, just the metric E staff. Up on the stake there. So we move off to the next one. On top of the stake. And uh, get the stake nice and uh, level or vertical with the staff bubble. See if we can get in, make sure we've got the staff bubble focused. Taking a little while to focus. See if I can get over the top. No. <laughs> Not a bar at all. It's a bit fuzzy. No, I can't see from there. I might be able to do it with the GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> Takes immense concentration to be a staff man. Keeping it level in such a... Calculation time. Time to do the calculations. 
and uh, start uh, getting ready for set out. Calculations almost ready. Got the last, um, the last foresight going on here actually uh, of a double run so that we can check we've got the same height on each stake. Here we are on site at Wintech G Block and uh, the 10 stake challenge is underway. We've just uh, completed the levelling exercise, now we're doing the calculations and we will be um, doing some taping up of the stakes anytime soon. Taping up the stakes measuring it down and making sure we get the tape cutting the tape rather than pulling it so we don't get too much tension on it great um, teamwork here as one group moves ahead marking the marking the off and the other one's uh, doing the tape very very good let's get this uh, yeah, oh, I reckon there's a bit of a bend in the middle <laughs> there, but um, we'll see. It's got a bit of a thing. Yeah, I reckon one of them there, but um, oh well, we'll leave it. So there we go. We've got the string going along. It doesn't look too bad. A blind man would be pleased to see it. Um, yeah, love it looking pretty good I reckon I'll just get down here see if I can get a reasonable sort of shot of it yeah oh, hang on I'll be a bit better like that yeah no uh, it's pretty good if you come and stand here you can see the it's not too bad not a not too many kinks and bows in it so yeah or do you not now we're just doing a quick check with the total station, uh, left face only, uh, bearing distance and uh, difference in height. So, yep, as we am um, using the vice grips there to uh, hold the uh, hold the some point. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so we can just uh, hold that there. Makes it. Just that much easier to hold it. Um. Yeah, here we are from another angle, looking back into G Block, up into the uh, Smoko shed there. The Smoko room. Just that blue window there, my colleagues in there having their afternoon tea. Meanwhile, the students are working away here, getting it all. Two groups, two lots of 10 stake challenge, all going there, all well and good. And good, and look at that. Hopefully, that's for the weekend. That bit of blue sky there. I'm going to focus in on that so that I just get blue sky. Blue sky, nothing but blue sky. <laughs> yep, that's it. Doing the uh, two peg test digital level. Um, we've got Brad there on the barcoded staff, so the level's just reading that. Amazing bit of equipment. If we've got a distance, uh, it also measures the distance as well. So there we go. Well, here we are at the start of the day, and the teams have got the team. Alrighty, so that's um, just a collection of all the various snippets I took as I went around, and gives a bit of a, um, well, a, a pretty good resume, I guess, or 
some summary of what uh, what occurred um, on the the Friday afternoon. So uh, that's good. But I also had um, just sitting um, on a on a um, set of legs, my tripod, the GoPro, and I just did a little time lapse. So um, that's uh, always a bit of fun to uh, get all your work done in a couple of minutes. So we'll just have a quick look at that. So there you go, all um, pretty much sorted in uh, just a few little minutes. So um, yeah, that was a great day out in the field. I think we achieved everything we've got. And so uh, this week we'll have a look at those check shots that we did and just see uh, if there was an error in the, the first group one there. I wasn't worried about fixing it in the field. I'll just see how good our... Um, our check procedure is and see if we can find an error or if there was one. The string uh, sags a little bit. It's probably not the best uh, thing for checking it over that distance. But uh, yeah, so um, that, that'll, uh, that'll happen in our, our theory session uh, next week. And then the, the week after that, uh, well, in the practical session, we'll probably get the GPS out and look for our external control. We'll bring that in. So uh, that was all good. It was a great day. 
Now, the, just one little thing to report. We had, um, well, um, Vivek actually forgot to bring his steel cap, so um, he had to uh, wear the emergency gum boots. And I was trying to think of a little, um, a little task, a little something that um, people could do. So during the day, I thought, well, what what he could do, what they could do, if you have to use the uh, emergency gum boots, is the next week you can uh, bring a packet of biscuits and shout us all um, afternoon tea or a biscuit as we're, you know, for our hard work. So um, I was sort of all um, for convert. I think I might have. I don't know whether I raised the issue with Vivek or not, but when it came to packing up, I went into the container and everyone had put all the gear away and just fine. And I went to lock up and I couldn't, for the life of me, find the key. So I was stuck with all the gear. I didn't want to lock the container in case I couldn't get back into it with all my gear. And I wanted to go and get my car and uh, just as I was going there, Vivek was coming past, and I asked him, well, would he mind uh, waiting there um, while I went and got my car? And he was very helpful. And then while he was waiting, he actually found the key, um, which was, um, I'd, I'd, uh, because I'd, I had my car keys in my pocket of my jacket, which I'd taken off, I'd put it down on one of the shelves, which um, I had sort of suspected, or that was where I was going to look next. But anyway, he found the key. So I think um, for the for a uh, such a helpful uh, bit of interlude there that he did afterwards, I'm going to bring the biscuits now <laughs> for next week. So um, that's uh, sort of hopefully will embed that little uh, little little bit of culture into our uh, things there. That if you forget to bring your hard uh, your hard steel hard steel cap boots. Um, you'll have to um, bring a shout us all a packet of biscuits. So I don't, I haven't quite decided what biscuits they'll be yet. It would be nice to have a cup of tea with them as well. But uh, oh, we'll see how that all works out. We might be able to pop into the hub or something like that, and uh, in our in part of our journey or when we finish. So um, we'll see how that works out. So um, I just want to thank uh, Vivek very much for um, his help. It really helped me out of a. A little bit of a bind there. So thanks very much and uh, thanks to everyone. I think we've got a, a new understanding too of the health and safety procedure now. And um, I'm just um, going to submit the photographs into the health and safety system on Monday morning. So all good. We'll uh, finish it there and um, yeah, call it, um, call it a session or... Uh, Good night from me and good night from him or whatever. So, all good. Cheers. See you.